I got a fish on. I got a fish on. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. We're at the zoo and it's snowing. Ooh. Good morning, everyone. I am here with my dad. His name is Jim. Hey there. Thankfully, uh, my parents came for the weekend, and it's Father's Day weekend, and we are out fishing at the secret fishing spot. There are actually a couple other people here uh, that we don't know, just kind of along the bank like us. So, really hope we catch some fish today, especially some king salmon. Um, but it is a perfect day out here. The sun is not out. It's very cloudy, um, but that should help with uh, the sun rays not making the fish all skittish or anything, and it feels great out here. Um, the mosquitoes are kind of bad, but... We've got spray and we're pretty much covered up, but it's a beautiful day out here. Hopefully we catch some fish. At least it's a very good view. Beautiful range you can see. It'd be kind of cool too if you saw a bear walk out on that little beach out there. On the other side, yes. I don't think there's a low no wake zone. <laughs> no rules out here. That's right. So I'm actually trying out a new toy this weekend. I got an early Father's Day present for my amazing wife and my awesome daughter. Um, it's actually a GoPro camera. Uh, it's one of those small little action cams. Um, it's waterproof. It's got HD. Um, and I don't have my normal camera out here because I didn't want it to get wet and it was looking like it was going to rain. Didn't want to worry about that, and uh, thankfully Jen had an awesome recommendation from Corey Williams, for you guys that know him. Uh, it's just the perfect thing to have out in Alaska, especially out here fishing, worrying about you know it getting wet or anything like that. And I hope, hope it gets some good footage, more importantly footage of some king salmon, or really any fish for that matter, for me and my dad. Um, but love this camera so far, and I uh, hope you guys are doing well today. Not, still nothing biting so far. But uh, most efficient is mostly just being patient and waiting. And I hope we get one soon. I got a fish on. I got a fish on. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on. working him, David. Of course, I got this tree right here. Oh yeah, of course. Wear him out. Come on, fish. Gracious, he's fighting. Yeah, and the farther you keep him away from that, the, the shore yeah. wood, the better. Come on, get tired. Come on. Keep it going. Keep working. No! No, did I lose him? Uh -oh. Well, maybe not. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Is he still there? Uh oh, uh oh, oh. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're caught on that stick right there now. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Dad gummit, thank you. Man, I lost it. Stuck on a stick. Did, oh, the bank. I was coming I down to try and help you guys. I just got him off. Did you see it? Yeah. How big did he look? He was, he was good. He was good big. Man. You well, guys were right up here by the bank here. We seen it get started to get tangled up down here. I can see the line. I was yeah. I was concerned about this tree right here. I'm like, oh great, That's he's why swimming. We never fish up there. Uh, well, thanks for trying to help. <laughs> yeah. 
get it off the lock there? Yeah, I think he just got it off. You got it? Alright, thanks man. You got it off? I did, dog on it. He got away. Fish on it? Yes. Man. He ate it. Well. That was a good experience though. Yeah. Guess I didn't uh, I didn't hook him hard enough. And you had a hard angle too. Yeah. Boy, he was pulling that, he was unwinding that line though. I would stop for half a second to rest my hand and, he, and it would go Yeah, out again. Yeah. Alright, so the guy right upstream of us got one. At least he has one on his line. Oh man, he lost it. Uh, That is a really smart fish. That's a smart fish. Well guys, we didn't get a fish today. Definitely had uh, fish on both of our lines. I fought with one pretty hard for a while. Kind of got stuck in the uh, branches and the trees a bit. But it got away unfortunately. But the good thing is, I can always come back for more. And uh, couple of other guys that are still out there haven't caught anything either so that makes me feel a little bit better when they're not catching anything either um, but it was still nice coming out here mosquitoes are starting to get bad there near the end um, but Jen's coming to pick us up with Jocelyn and my mom and uh, hopefully we can uh, do this again and uh, I'm glad my dad was here well, for Father's here. Day weekend happy Father's Day to all the dads out there and the grandpas and all that so um even though we didn't get one we still enjoyed it and uh can't wait to come back so we just ran home from fishing to get all clean so we don't smell like nasty fish and you guys can probably guess where we're taking them next we are going to the eagle river nature center i know i've been there a lot lately i think i've been there four times in the last maybe like week and a half or so but who cares it's beautiful and it's definitely something we want to take my parents to because it's just amazing out there and it's an easy hike and uh we're obviously going to go out for dinner somewhere tonight you probably can guess too but we're getting ready to go to the eagle river nature center and uh, hopefully we see some wildlife if not we'll still see some beautiful mountains and trees and rivers and uh, it's been really windy today but thankfully the rain has stopped so it should be really nice and cool in the nature center So some time has passed and we are out as a family walking on a trail near our house. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, the wind is picking up here and there, but it's still very nice out here. 
and uh, we're just taking them down a trail near our house so they can uh, see how pretty Eagle River is. Uh, I know you guys have met my dad during hey, fishing. Hey. You haven't met my mom. Hey it's Kathy. My dad again is Jim. Those are my parents. Uh, they live in Charleston, South Carolina, uh, where we came from. So they're here for the weekend. Uh, I'm grateful they got to come for Father's Day and uh, we're just doing a short little beautiful walk. Hopefully we uh, see some wildlife far off. Cassie's our bear bell deterrent. Look at the erosion down. Yeah, not a lot keeping oh, this back. There, huh? yeah. yeah. Maybe when I was younger, I'd be tempted to test out that tree, <laughs> climbing that tree out. Not anymore. I think I would have let you do that. <laughs> This is just incredible. A moose hair. There's some moose hair right there. Yep. Cassie. Mm. What you think? Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> ha ha ha. And now she's chewing it. <laughs> I don't know. It's the first time I've been out here. Careful with the steps. Ooh, this is pretty. This is pretty. Very pretty. Wow. Check that out. Yeah, definitely it looks like moose come here to to drink some water. You can kind of see the two hooves right there. Um, this be a nice little drinking area. Like Cassie, guess she's thirsty. Likes that glacier water. Is that good? <laughs> a little skittish, but I'm sure it tastes good. She's taking a sip of water from the river. And this girl's out again on mommy's back. She loves this thing. Sooner or later, she's not going to fit in here anymore. She is not even on the chart right now for height. She is tidy but mighty, but eventually she will grow out of it. I would be very sad when she outgrows the baby wearing phase. Yeah, she and she definitely it's a mommy thing. She likes doing it with mommy and not so much with daddy. Wait for them to bond. 